Well, good morning, YouTube. All right, guys, it is Tuesday morning, and uh, we're supposed to be setting up. It's actually, it's afternoon now, but we've been delayed all day long. Remember that car in yesterday's video that was parked behind us? Well, guess what? It is still there. I moved the truck forward a little bit, and we were able to get the tailgate down, but we can't get the secondary ramps to flip over, and it's still not enough room for us to get our lifts and the other big equipment out of there. Um, the, the promoter has called a tow company. They're supposed to be coming out and towing that thing away here in the near future. So we at least got the awnings up and everything. We did what we could, but it's definitely a slow start to our day. They're also having trouble getting power run to me, even though the generator is right there. That's it, right there, right, right in front of my truck. But the outlet on it that I need to plug into isn't supplying power. So nothing, nothing is going right today. Chip rushed all the way here to try to be here as early as possible so we get set up and then it's been nothing but delays since he's been here. At this point, we're at a standstill. We can't do much more until we get the equipment out of the trailer. And as you can see, I left the legs off of the awning because they may make me back the truck back up a little bit more once that car is gone because now I'm right up against that generator. Not a lot of room if they need to get in there and service that generator over the next couple of days. So, like I said, just waiting. All right, guys, the car is finally gone. So Chip and I are starting the unload process. It's much later in the day than we wanted. We are so far behind schedule, but we'll still get it done today no matter what. Yeah, it's like 2.30 in the afternoon now, and now we're ready to really kind of get started. It's just the way it works sometimes. Hey guys, we got the lifts out. This is one of the hardest jobs that Chip and I have to do today, is these things are so hard to maneuver. You know, and once we get them up on the wheels, like on the dollies there, they actually move pretty easy, even on this rough terrain. But getting those wheels underneath the lifts and ready to move is very challenging. And also the convention center was nice enough to send out a team of gentlemen to put a sump pump in a, the puddle we had out front. And then what it didn't pick up, they swept everything to it and um, finished it off with a shop vac. It just got the major part of the puddle out of our way, which was a huge benefit. All right guys, so the lift is clear, but now we gotta ride it up so we can clear everything out of the loft. So we take all that stuff from the loft and we will move it to the lift, lower the lift down, and then take it all outside. Hi right, guys, much later than we had planned on. It's seven o'clock at night, but for the most part, we are set up, we're functional. I think tomorrow we still gotta do some flags and banners and a couple small things, but like I said, we're functional. Uh, very, very little to do. But, uh, hopefully Joey will be here tomorrow, so uh, there'll be plenty of us to get it all done. Well guys, I know you've heard me say it before. Sometimes it's a very small world. Here's why. So our plan was to go out and have dinner tonight. Uh, Ron from Emory HVAC has stopped by earlier today and he actually gave me a, a gift card for a Jewish deli down the road. And uh, when we got done working this evening, we said, well, let's go to the Jewish Deli and give it a try. So we drive down there, and the deli's closed. So we start Google searching, you know, what other restaurants are around here that uh, taste good. Just going by memory, some of the signs that we've driven by and so on and so forth. And as we Googled some of those, turns out most of them were closed. So we ended up coming over to this place called Tequila Frogs. You guys, this place, second story, really nice the guy that owns it was a really cool dude he cooked everything himself very very good food by the way but that's not the small world part do you guys remember the car that was in my way all day yesterday in the video the car that was in my way all day today in the video well they finally moved that car today about 2 30 as you saw earlier but when we got here to this parking lot we backed into this parking spot and guess what car we parked next to the same exact car and I know it's the same exact car because there was some damage on that car which I believe was from the tent from last night's storm that also hit my motorcycle and the Mini Cooper I think it hit that car first there were some very distinguishable marks on the car that we had noticed earlier today 
and they were on this car here. So what are the chances that we pick the restaurant and that car is sitting here? Very, very perplexing and it's a small world. But guys, I think it's gonna close this video. We are really full. Tequila Frogs is fantastic. Thank you for watching. Have a good night. And until the next time I see you, keep those engines running. And remember, Ocean City Bike Fest starts tomorrow. Well, when you guys see this, it'll be today.